Do you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency? Join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I want to talk to you about Christina Light Cannabis. So I found the bottom. I, you know, I told you guys, I think we found the bottom, and it seems like we did. When it was at 41 and a half cents, I was telling you guys, I think this has found a bottom, and we can mark the low, low, and the high, high for the month. You can see the low of the month is 41 cents. The high of the month is 57, currently at 50. And you can see here in Canada, CLC is the Canadian symbol. CLCFF is the American. I literally called the buy here at 52, said it was trending down. I think it's going to go back up. And boom, I was right. It's gone from 52. It's now at 62. And I still think this goes to at least a dollar. And if you got in on that dip, congratulations, because there's some news that I think could make this move. So this is the news. CLC receives Canadian 129,000 purchase order. This is what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for revenue. And this is just the beginning for distillate oil from a licensed producer with distribution in multiple Canadian provinces. Christina Lake Cannabis CLC in Canada, CLCFF in America, and CLB in Frankfurt, Germany is pleased to announce that it has received its first purchase order for a commercial quantity of distillate oil valued at 129000 from a Canadian licensed producer whose products are distributed in several provinces. Under the terms of the purchase order, the identity of the purchaser cannot be publicized for competitive reasons. The distillate oils are to be used for production of vape formulation, a category in which the purchaser is an established player. And the company has now consistently maintained potency levels in the 90% range for the distillate oils it produces. CLC's management is confident that it could continue supplying to the purchaser on an ongoing basis, which means we could see some ongoing revenue with the opportunity to provide greater quantities as needed. In 2020 growing season, Christina Lake Cannabis' inaugural crop grown naturally under sunlight amounted to nearly double its initial forecasts with 32,500 kgs, 71,650 pounds of dried cannabis ultimately harvested in a press release dated January 13, 2021 company announced it was beginning to produce its first ultra-high potency distillate oils, which typically contain tetrahydrocannabinoidal THC concentrations of 90% or greater, and are used as ingredients in a product formulation, as opposed to being used as a standalone cannabis product. In a March 31st, 2021 press release, company also announced it had nearly tripled its capacity for extraction with the cannabis industry's first installation of the Vitalis Consolvent Injection System. This enhancement enables the company to consistently process more than 250 kgs, 551 pounds of biomass per day, which is an important consideration in light of CLC's pivot towards fully integrated production from cultivation to extraction. This is what it looks like. After its inaugural growing season, Christina Lake Cannabis has made its first sale of commercial quantity of distillate oil in the amount of 129,000 Canadian. The purchaser is an established industry player in several cannabis categories to include vaping, which is one of many potential applications for distillate oils. As part of the company's sales efforts following its inaugural harvest last year, CLC has recently delivered product samples along with corresponding certificates of analysis to prospective buyers who currently have open dialogue with CLC's experienced sales team. In addition to distillate oils, the company's sales team has also been offered an offering winterized oil and keef to prospective buyers. Christina Lake Cannabis Chief Executive Officer Joel DeMars commented, Distillates are in demand in the Canadian cannabis market because of their versatility. There are possible applications in medicinal products, food and beverages, personal care, vaping, and many other categories. The purchaser has a broad reach in various cannabis segments to include vaping, for which they are an esteemed player. Through our industry relationships, we're able to come to an agreement with the purchaser in which they recognize the value in both our product and our fully integrated operations, which can enable them to receive a consistent supply of high quantity distillates grown under sunlight using our unique 
cannabis strains made with proprietary genetics. We look forward to getting feedback from the purchaser and their end user clientele and aspire to form a long-term supplier relationship with them as we begin to build a market position as a supplier of cannabis extracts with complete visibility from soil to oil to ensure top-notch quality of our finished product. I brought it to you guys first. I'm not surprised. They've been a big winner. Let's take a look at their website. You can see right on their website what they're doing. Take a look at this. Got to be of age. I'm definitely of age. <laughs> I'm definitely of age. I'm uh, aging myself here. But yeah, you definitely need to be of age to even go into the website, which is good. This is the age verification, and this is what the website looks like. And this is their property. I mean, look at this property. Isn't that impressive? You can go to their website, Christina Lake Cannabis, and download the investor presentation. So once again, looking at the stock, we've seen here that uh, when I first brought it to everybody's attention, it was actually at 38 cents, went all the way to $1.10, came all the way back down where we've literally found the bottom. And anyone who bought that bottom, congratulations. I think we have a really good chance that we go back up now that the revenue is coming. Revenue is always the key milestone that everybody needs. And this is a company now, <clears throat> this is a company now that is growing in revenue. And based on this press release, this might be just the beginning. So about Christina Lake Cannabis Corp. Christina Lake Cannabis Corp is a licensed producer of cannabis under the Cannabis Act. It has secured a standard cultivation license and corresponding processing sales amendment from Health Canada, March 2020 and August 2020, respectively, as well as a research and development license early 2020. CLC's facility consists of a 32-acre property, which I showed you guys, which includes over 950,000 square feet of outdoor grow space, offices, propagation and drying rooms, research facilities, and a facility dedicated to processing and extraction. CLC also owns a 99-acre plot of land adjoining its principal 32-acre site, which enables the company to grow at a much larger scale. CLC cultivates cannabis using strains specifically developed for outdoor cultivation, and in its inaugural harvest year produced 32,500 kgs, 71,650 pounds on its existing facility before developing an adjacent 99-acre expansion property. Such an expansion will ultimately bring CLC's annual cultivation footprint to over 4.35 million square feet, which would enable at least 150,000 kgs, 330,693 pounds of low-cost, high-quality, sun-grown cannabis to be produced annually by the company. Once again, this is their website, ChristinaLakeCannabis.com, a premier producer of high-quality, low-cost sun-grown cannabis flower oil, cannabinoids, and hemp-based extracts and derivatives serving domestic and international markets. You can download the investor presentation and learn more, but I mean, look at that beautiful property. Have you ever seen a bigger and better outdoor grow? Probably not. Christina Lake Cannabis, put on your watch list, put it on your radar. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring in the winners, we bring in the news, and we bring them to you first. What do you guys think? Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and information purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research, consult a financial advisor, ask them what they think about Christina Lake Cannabis, tight flow, early stage company, now starting to have revenue. This could be a major catalyst. What do you guys think? If you like this video, please smash the like, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe if you're live. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. Like I said, we bring in the winners, we bring in the news, and we bring it to you first. CLC receives Canadian 129,000 purchase order for distillate oil. Big news, guys. Really big news. Love to know what you guys think. Distillate oil from a licensed producer, which they can't name, with distribution in multiple Canadian provinces. Once again, the symbol in Canada, CLC. Symbol in America, CLCFF. And in Frankfurt, Germany, CLB. This is just getting started. Your boy, Rich, from Rich TV Live. Bring you the news. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you own it? You thinking about buying it? Let me know. It's your boy, Rich, from Rich TV Live. And I'm out. Peace.